Tonight, the deep dive. One company's secret weapon for innovation. We went to IDEO, the product design folk, and said, take something old and familiar, like, say, the shopping cart, and completely redesign it for us in just five days. ABC News correspondent Jack Smith tells us what happened next. Nine in the morning, day one, and these people have a deadline to meet. So, welcome to the kickoff of the shopping cart project. This is Palo Alto, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley. And these are designers at IDEO, probably the most influential product development firm in the world. IDEO has designed everything from high-tech medical equipment to the 25-foot mechanical whale in the movie Free Willy and the first computer mouse for Apple. Smith ski goggles, Nike sunglasses, NEC computer screens, hundreds of products we take for granted. The point is that we're not actually experts at any given area. You know, we're kind of experts on the process of how you design stuff. So we don't care if you give us a toothbrush, a toothpaste tube, a tractor, a space shuttle, you know, a chair. It's all the same to us. We, like, want to figure out how to innovate in in, by using our process, applying it. Project leader is Peter Skillman, a 35-year-old Stanford engineer. Project leader because he's good with groups, not because of seniority. He's only been at IDEO for six years. The rest of the team is eclectic, but that's typical here. Whitney Mortimer, Harvard MBA. Peter Coughlin, linguist. Tom Kelly, Dave's brother, marketing expert. Jane Fulton Suri, psychologist. Alex Kazax, 26, a biology major, who's turned down medical school three times because he's having exactly. too much fun at IDEO. <laughs> Safety emerges early as an important issue. 22,000 child injuries a year, which is, and so they're hospitalized injuries. I mean, there, there are many others. And theft. It turns out a lot of carts are stolen. As the team works, it becomes clear there are no titles here, no permanent assignments. And the other side says, that gives us a lot of help, says, be safe. That's <laughs> it. I'll give you a big red ball on a, on, a, on, a, on a post, and that says you're a big guy. If you got a ball, you're a senior vice president. You know, what do I care? The desk, the red ball, it's all the same. <laughs> In a very innovative culture, you can't have a kind of hierarchy of here's the boss and the next person down, the next person down, the next person down, because it's impossible that the boss is the one who's had the insightful experience with shopping carts. It's just not possible. The team splits into groups to find out firsthand what the people who use, make, and repair shopping carts really think. Okay, go. The problem with the plastic cart is the wind catches it. Yeah. And these things uh, have been clocked at 35 across the parking lot. <laughs> oh, man. That's actually a pretty good point. The, the trick is to find these real experts and so that you can learn much more quickly than you could by just kind of doing it in the normal way and, and trying to learn about it yourself. From everything I read, these things aren't that safe either, you know? Right. Um, so probably the seat itself is going to have to be redesigned. One of the interesting things for me is looking at how people really don't like to let go of the cart, except for the professional shopper, whose strategy is to leave the cart at various places. 3.30 in the afternoon, and the group is back at IDEO. There is no let-up. Each team is going to demonstrate and communicate and share everything that they've learned today. A uh, shopping cart has been clocked at 35 miles an hour, traveling through a parking lot in the wind. We were in the store, what, two hours? and. And it was truly frightening just to see the kind of stuff going on. You ought to designate some people to make damn sure that the store owner's point of view is represented. After nine straight hours, the team is tired. They call it a day. So, um, Everybody cool? Well, uh, that's great. Thanks a lot. We had a great time today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. IDEO's mantra for innovation is written everywhere. One conversation at a time. Stay focused. Encourage wild ideas. Defer judgment. Build on the ideas of others. Uh, that's the hardest thing for people to do is to uh, restrain themselves from uh, uh, criticizing an idea. So if anybody starts to nail an idea, they get the bell. You know. <laughs> the ideas pour out and are posted on the walls. Oh, the blind, the, the privacy blind. Like when you're buying six cases of condoms, you, no one sees. If it doesn't nest, 
We don't have a solution. For this. Organized chaos. Uh, uh, it's not organized. Um, what it is is it's focused chaos. Vote with your post-it, not not with an idea that's cool, but with an idea that's cool and buildable. Um, if it's if it's too far out there and it can't be built in a day, then I don't think we should vote on it. Enlightened trial and error succeeds over the planning of lone genius. Enlightened trial and error succeeds over the planning of the lone genius. If anything sums up IDEO's approach, that is it. Worried that the team is drifting, what can only be called a group of self-appointed adults under Dave Kelly holds an informal side session. Four or five teams. Four or five. Four or five teams, and we, and we give each team a need area. It becomes very autocratic for a very short period of time in defining what things people are going to work on. If you don't work under time constraints, you, you could never get anything done because it's a messy process and go on forever. Back at the shop, it is 6 o'clock, and the four mock-ups are ready for showing. Baskets also can be, if you think you will have more volume, baskets can be put in. A modular shopping cart you pile hand baskets onto. A high-tech cart that gets you through the traffic jam at checkout. That you could mount a scanner on the shopping cart so that you, as the customer, as you pull it off the shelf, would scan each item. One that's built around child safety, and another that lets shoppers talk to the supermarket staff remotely. Uh, yeah, where can I find the yogurt? But the adults, again, decide more work needs to be done before the mock-ups can be combined into one last prototype. Why don't we have all the carts come up here for a second? I think you take a piece of each one of these ideas and kind of back it off a little bit and then put it in the yeah, in the right. design. The design is still not there, but there's another motto at IDEO, fail often in order to succeed sooner. And some of the team will be up half the night trying to put together a design that finally does work. There it is! There it is! <laughs> so we took the best elements out of each prototype. The cart, which is designed to cost about the same as today's carts, is different in every other way. What do you think? <laughs> well, I, I'm very proud of the team. I think it's, it's great. This, does this work for you? Works for me great. Yeah. It's also beautiful. The cart's wheels turn 90 degrees so it can move also sideways. No more lifting up the rear in a tight spot. And you shop in a totally different way. The bags are hung on hooks on the cart's frame. Remember, there is no basket here. At yeah. first, as I was a little shocked, but I think it's, you have some fantastic ideas here. It needs a little refining, but I think that it's great. I mean, we would, we would want them. She also gave us some really good comments about how we can make this thing better. A lot of hours. Also, an open mind, a boss who demands fresh ideas be quirky and clash with his, a belief that chaos can be constructive, and teamwork, a great deal of teamwork. And these are the recipe for how innovation takes place. This is Jack Smith for Nightline in Palo Alto, California. When you think of our country and the patriotic people who sacrificed to defend it, do you think of the children? My mom and my dad are in the Navy. My dad is a soldier. He just left for Afghanistan again. Sarah knows her dad loves her, and they do their best to stay connected. But the truth is, because of the military mission, he's been away almost half of her life. Service members have lives and dreams and families, just like the rest of us. Many are just starting their families. When Courtney first came to my class, I could tell she was carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders. There are now nearly two million children with their parents serving in the military. Most of these kids are school age, and 80% of them attend public schools in the United States. My teacher knew I'd been working with a different textbook at my last school. She said if I came in early, she would help me with my homework. Being a teacher, we like to think that we're very knowledgeable, that we're experts on kids. I was surprised at how much I had to learn, but I'm thankful for MSEC programs. I feel like I'm a much better teacher now. They didn't volunteer for duty, but in their own way, they serve our nation too. A move is traumatic for anyone, but especially for a child who is trying to establish new footings. The Military Child Education Coalition exists to serve and support the children of those who serve and protect us. We were in Guam, and the teachers at the school were so good at helping the kids to be resilient, to feel understood, but more than that, to feel normal. 
Research using the real life stories of children, moms and dads shows us that these children experience more stress and challenges than their peers. The opportunity to help is real. We see success stories every day. How does MSEC make a difference? With training for teachers and school administrators, with resources that teach about literacy, coping, adapting and belonging, and with programs for parents and children to empower them with the confidence and skills they crave so they're ready and able to take advantage of everyday opportunities to learn, to grow, to connect. They let me talk with my dad in a video chat in the school office. It was great to see a smile. MSEC uses evidence-based programs that get results. We create awareness about the needs of military children. My son received a scholarship to attend MSEC's five-day leadership program at the U.S. Military Academy. It was an honor for the whole family. The need is there and the results are real. How can you help? Join us and help make everyday differences for children. Start today. Thank you, MSEC. Thank you, MSEC. Military Child Education Coalition for the sake of the child.